Hi everyone, welcome back to the final video of this full OLO Made Easy video series. We're going to be going through the last four dot cases in this video. So starting off with this case here, it's recognized with the pretty obvious 3x1 bar at the front here and the two back corners here are oriented. So for this case, quite a straightforward algorithm once again. So it starts off with a wide soon from the front like this. Once you've done that, you get this OLO case, so the small lightning bolt case, which you should recognize. This can be done by a wide back soon like this. And that is the algorithm for that case. Alternatively, for this case, there is a separate algorithm for it as well. I'll show it here just for those who might be interested. So the algorithm will start off with a R U2 R prime going into a sledgehammer. Following that, it's U2 to bring the F2 pair to the front. Now from here, instead of just inserting it regularly, we actually want to do something pretty unique. So we want to start off with an M prime, then insert this entire block into position and that would actually solve that OLO case as well. Next OLO case is this one here. Once again, similar to the previous one where we have the two back corners oriented. Now, instead of the three by one bar at the front, we now have a single yellow edge at the front uh, with two of these two by one bars on either side. So for this algorithm, once again, fairly straightforward. So it starts off with an M followed by U. So we can do the M like this. So that's just middle layer down followed by U. After that, we have a sexy, which we should all know how to do. M prime followed by a sledge. So the second last F2L case is this one here. It can be recognized with the yellow corners forming a diagonal on the top layer here. We want to hold it so that one of the single edges is on the right side and the other single yellow edge is facing the front. For this algorithm, it starts off with taking the F2L pair out like this, moving it to the back, doing a sledgehammer on this slot, now we want to move the F2 or pair back around and insert it with another sledgehammer. An alternative algorithm for this case is actually to hold it the other way around. So in this case, we have the one of the two by one bars on the right side and the other two by one bar facing the front. From this angle, a different algorithm we can use goes like this. So it starts off with a reverse sledge from the front. Following that, we got an M move, which is middle layer down, which we can do like this. Following that, inverse sexy. Finally, U prime, M prime. So the final dot case is this one here. You may recognize it from the channel logo, or you may not recognize it because you may not have actually seen this in an actual solve because this is also the rarest OLO. Nevertheless, you should know how to solve this case just in case it does pop up. So for this case, the algorithm is actually fairly straightforward. So it starts off with a wide R move followed by the rest of the sexy. M2. Now we want to kind of think of inserting this F2L pair into this slot like this. And then finally just match up the colors. So U prime, M prime. All right, guys, so that's it for all of the OLO cases. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series and I hope you guys also found this video series useful. Like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos in the future. If you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.